talk about something that every company has. It's not product, it's not processes, it's not design, it's people. We believe that innovation can be made most real through people. What you do, what you produce, who you consult is very, very important. It's active for what you do. But your people are what make the difference, we believe, between success and failure. Yeah? I'll keep going, okay? So, we're now working more and more through teams. Teams are the basic unit of how a small business or a large business works. And in those teams, there are people of all different shapes and sizes and behaviors. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, lovely. Thanks very much. You can start the clock now, because I'm going to be giving a little bit of leeway. <laughs> You've got a little bit of leeway. You've got a little bit of leeway, okay? I'm watching you, I'm watching you. Yeah. Watching. Okay, so basically it starts with the individual, through to the teams, the organization, and the culture in which they work. You can't do innovation by looking at one little piece of the process alone. You can't do that in industrial design, and you certainly can't do that for people. And the interesting piece of research that we've come up with is that the resources for improving your people are within your organization. They just have to be released, taken out, and pushed into the environment in which you work. Okay? What we do is support that process. Support the unblocking of the things that are making your organization less effective. And doing so in a bottom line results oriented manner. And we have worked with everything from a Gaelic football team in a rural village through to large foreign direct investment companies. The principles don't change. Team and leadership coaching is what makes a difference in terms of driving it forward. We live in what we describe in the innovation industry as a VUCA world. Powerful forces are changing the way that you work and the way that you think, some of which you're aware of, some of which you're not aware of. And VUCA was put together by the US military to describe the world that was post the Cold War. VUCA means volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity. So the old things that were the same are no longer the same. And the world in which you work, regardless of what you work in, is open to those particular changes. And there's a way to actually bring them forward and deal with them. We believe the level at which organizations are talking about innovation is only touching the surface. They're only looking at the issues that are there, that are visible, and perhaps not looking underneath at the things that are less apparent, the things that are hidden, the things that are blocking the progress. So reaching that level of transformation requires something different in leadership and development terms. It requires two things that we think are perhaps missing in most conventional training and development that perhaps your organization is doing, if you're doing any. The first is going deep, and the, first is, and the second is stretching further. What a lot of people are doing, it, and I see it in a lot of the stands I've walked around today, is continuous improvement, making what's currently there better making it more impactful, more economic, more efficient. I heard that in the great presentation, that's absolutely true. But when you come to people, that's not enough. You can't push them around like pieces. They move and they have thoughts and different emotions and feelings. For them, you have to structure it in terms of transformation and innovation. And if you want to drive your business or organization forward, taking the people through that transformation journey is one of the key parts of what you can do. And as I said, this can be done within your own organization with help. Change is hard. Nobody likes it. It hurts. It sometimes feels uncomfortable, contrary to what's natural. But change, if you think about history and time, is exactly what's happened in every industry throughout, throughout that period of time. And once you get people prepared to do that, then never prepared to look at truly innovating. This is a phrase I really love. The cave you most fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. 
by looking at the things that are most challenging to you in your organization, you may well find you've unlocked the opportunity to make the real change. Perhaps that segment of the market you haven't looked at, or you've written off, is the segment in which you can really go. And this type of innovation process is not just about leadership and coaching in a, in a, in a classroom <coughs> world. It's about getting to consulting of real issues that confront your organization. Because what we will do is look for what we describe as the burning platform, the issue that's really challenging you and your organization, and to try and solve it with you. And we've over 25 years experience in doing it. So we're inviting you to think about making a change transformation and looking at how you develop your people and your organization in that different world. So one of the ways of looking at, first of all, is to look at the behavior of the people you have. Not their function, not their job title, not their experience, but their behavior. We've been working with Belvin Team Roles for over 15 years, and we're now proud enough to say that we are the actual sole distributors of Belvin Team Roles in Ireland. And what we do when we look at teams is we find that they're not sales directors and production directors and operations assistants. They have these behavioral tendencies, clients with creative ideas, complete finishes who get things completed on time and to a level of perfection that's often obsessive, resource investigators who go and seek for new opportunities, monitor evaluators who can critically analyze and view things from different perspectives, specialists who come up with these crazy, zany, wacky ideas that may just deliver shapers who drive things through to the end, implementers who get things done, and team workers who provide that all-important and often ignored element, the friendliness and diplomacy and care, and, forgive me for saying it so openly, love that organizations require to succeed. Looking at change, this is something that is a relatively new field, but there are a number of models and theories that have been developed over time that are worth thinking about. One of these is Ken Wilber's integrated change model, and what it believes is that if you make a change within yourself or within another part of the organization, you have to make a change for, throughout the entire body. So if you make a change in your structure, it affects your customers, your stakeholders, your team, and eventually your success. You cannot work just on training individuals to become better users of Microsoft PowerPoint with, whilst ignoring the fact that their behavior and leadership potential has to be driven also. If you do that, then you can bring it to your organization's ecosystem and their entire drive. <coughs> the second model that we've used a lot is what we call UCO which tries to map change and how it works. Now the idea of going on a change program is often something that some people initially get quite excited about. This is good, isn't it? We're going to get better. Well, yes it is. But it is also going to be challenging. Because if you're truly going to try and change your organization and innovate to make a difference, there may well be tough differences as you go through what we describe the dark night or the real difficulty of a change program. And you may be inclined to give up. And it's a fact that a third of change programs fail or succeed only partially because people give up. But if you want to be an innovative business, then change is something that you have to learn with. And it's not only in the production crisis, it's everywhere. It's time, which will require you to go deep and may require six to nine months of effort. Contrary to what people may think, it's not terribly expensive, but it can work. Because what it does, it brings teams from being a group. Thanks, Ian. Straight through to a high-performing team. It's a known plan process that we can take through and take your organization. And it will bring you up that curve. Going up that curve means an increase in revenue, an increase in return on investment, increased employee retention, and all the other conventional measures that you seek to look at for any investment program you put in. There's no real difference. So we're talking about a new change and innovation approach for transforming organizations, large or small. <coughs> we're talking about the individual, the teams, 
the organisations and the markets in which they serve. If you have any questions, I'd be delighted to take them. Sorry, just if I may quickly, I'm John's colleague. Um, I'm heading up the Dublin office, which we are opening as we speak. I just wanted to let you know, I, I've been involved in the business support world for 20 years, which is fundamentally improving team efficiency. There's one absolute truth amidst all the, we're all the change and the innovation, and that is that a company is only as good as its people, and the better they perform, the more successful the business will be. We're launching the Dublin office. We will be holding a, a launch opening event on the 7th of April in the National College of Ireland. So you're very, very welcome to attend. If anybody would like our cards, uh, please uh, approach me. Or otherwise, you can visit our website at www.belvin.ie. Okay, thanks very much. Thanks very much.